All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I have my high-tech uh, camera installed, my cell phone. Um, yeah, this is the Bebop 2. And uh, I don't know if you saw the uh, video that I posted shortly yesterday. I took it down and made it private. I know some people went ahead and uh, uh, looked at the uh, uh, video, but I didn't include any type of uh, music with it or didn't do any type of editing with it. The reason why is I want people to see it and let me know if they saw what I saw, and that's poor video quality. Um, been having some problems with the camera, not focusing correctly. I took it up north, and I know the Bebop 2 does not like cold weather. It's one of the known factors of this of this drone itself. Anything below uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, um, generally, you're going to go ahead and lose uh, video quality, and it's going to turn out to be kind of muddy, out of focus. And that's what I had. It was a it was right after a uh, a, a snowstorm. Um, the, the next day I took it up, it was cold, but it was beautiful. I mean, the snow crystals, the, how the light was hitting them. I was like, man, I'm going to get some fantastic video. I didn't. Uh, I didn't even bother posting that video. I was really disappointed in the quality of the camera. And I did some research, and, and, uh, and I ended up ordering a new camera for this just in case the accident that I had when I cracked the uh, cross frame on this uh, drone damaged the camera. I ordered a new one just in case. I'm waiting for the postman to deliver that. Um, as soon as I get it, I'll get it installed and see if that corrects the video quality because right here, yesterday I flew it, it was 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, should get excellent video quality and that's the video that I posted yesterday. The video quality, what I saw, some pieces were in focus, some pieces were out of focus. It's just not correct in the focusing ability. Uh, it's just not shooting perfect quality video like a 1080p camera should, like it did in the past. Um, so as soon as I get that in, waiting on the postman to deliver it, everything's behind right now because of the Christmas catch-up. Uh, as soon as I get that in, I'll get that installed. Shouldn't take very long. It's just a couple, couple of screws here, and you pull off the uh, this canopy right here, and uh, replace, uh, take off the GPS board, and you replace the camera. And it should only take me maybe about ten minutes to do that. Um, but today, in the meantime, what I ordered a long time ago, um, before I cracked my cross member, is this hunk of carbon fiber right here. I bought this because one thing I'm not really too keen about on these uh, Bebop frames is how flexible they are. I don't like that flexibility because that flexibility generally equates to, look at that, how, how flexible that is. I'm going to go ahead and try to get in here. See ya? Look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually putting no force on that whatsoever. And that flexibility really, and this is a a Parrot Bebop 2 replacement frame that I have on here. And that's how much flexibility is on this thing. And with flexibility, you're going to get some jelloing in your video. And unless you're flying really slow and smooth, you know, sometimes, you, sometimes if you want to get to an object quick enough, you want to put it in sport mode and be able to film, with all that jelloing in there. And this uh, carbon fiber, I know carbon fiber you have to be careful with because carbon fiber that does sh shatter like glass, but I know that. But however, look how rigid that is. There's just no flexibility whatsoever in that. So I'm gonna go, this is supposed to be a plug and play. Basically I take off everything off of here and put it on and I should be able to um, get this up and going. Um, I won't go ahead and bore everybody with the, uh, um, uh, the install of this. There's plenty of videos on, on YouTube, which, uh, in fact, Parrot on Parrot's site ha has a fantastic video on how to take everything off and replace a cross frame. So there's plenty of videos out there. So I'm not going to bore 
everybody with that, with the miracles of video editing, I'll come back and boom, this is gonna be on there. However, if my camera does not work, at what point do I cut my losses? So far I have gotten, I have a lot invested in this with the batteries, the bag, uh, replacements of cross frames, propellers. <laughs> at what point do I cut my losses? That's my number one question. What, at what point do I cut my losses and say, and wash my hands of the Bebop 2? Not giving up yet. Hopefully the new camera. Hopefully the new camera will work out. We will we will see. And when I come back, the new cross frame will be on here. So uh, stand by. All right. Sorry about the uh, mess in here, but this took a lot of fiddling to get this in here because all the uh, the wire management actually runs throughout these through these arms and. You have to precariously place the uh, engines on here to get them tightened down. Don't do uh, all three, or don't tighten down one screw at one time, because after all, you have three screws to uh, put in place. Um, but uh, once they're on here, um, you can just go ahead and uh, attach the wires in there. It was like a, a lot of fiddling. Lots and lots of work to get this carbon fiber frame on here. I probably should just... Uh, kept recording but have been an extremely long video if I've done that but I got everything in place got everything on next step is uh, take this up for a, a test spin and this is the uh, carbon fiber frame placed on my Bebop 2 so uh, there you go test flight of the uh, Bebop 2 with carbon fiber frame camera mode so it's going to be slow. Bring it down so you take a look at it. Carbon fiber frame. It's windy today. I'm gonna bring it back. Video is what I'm trying to uh, hopefully I get that camera today. So I hate to do all this to this uh, Bebop without having a decent camera on it. Well, that is really good. Let me, take, let me take this out of camera mode. Get this into uh, sport mode so I can get around here a little bit quicker. There you go. This is a telltale sign of uh, how much uh, if I get any uh, less jelloing in the video. All right, you can turn it off now, honey. I'm gonna